What's up guys, Crave here with a short video on the recent changes to the Outriders demo. Basically, this is an improvement based on the feedback gotten from players during the first week of demo playthrough. It doesn't really address everything or most player feedback or some things I thought should be addressed, but People Can Fly did what they could in the time they had. I really wish they could just implement a shoulder swap mechanic for, well, gameplay reasons, but it's still not there. Anyway, some of the changes are shown right here, but I think the key ones are really just the motion blur toggle and the matchmaking times reduction which they really did address quite well. Finding players to group up with right now is easier which can be great if things work out because well we have to see the class interactions and these are really important given the expected endgame content we're supposed to be getting. Skills and class abilities are supposed to basically complement each other to eventually tackle the endgame group content the developers have planned for everyone. This is of course limited in scope mainly because our characters max out at level 7 in the demo but at least we're seeing a glimpse of what could be when playing with other players. From what I've seen with the patched up game, I think it looks potentially and I repeat potentially a great experience if people can fly can really just pull it off. Mob density increases in multiplayer so it really is important that the class interactions work out well otherwise you just get overwhelmed and destroyed. However, the patch experience does show some things definitely will still need some work. It seems buggier from my point of view. Like in this clip, my character fell through the floor in a co-op match and yeah, there was no way getting out of it but to leave the squad and disconnect. When it works though, it's a great but uh, it's a great experience but gameplay still has a tendency to lag or rubber band at times when going co-op. Again, I tested it as well, the experience out in other games, my network connection in other games, but I really didn't experience the same latency or awkwardness in multiplayer. So this really just brings me to think that further optimizations are needed to improve the co-op experience in Outriders. Overall though, I'm still excited for Outriders and it still seems the single player experience will be solid with, well, paired with a decent but questionable co-op experience. Plot delivery wise, I don't know what people can fly can change before launch, but it is workable if you just ignore the cringy moments. In any case, I really hope this game delivers as it does show some potential. Anyway, thanks for watching this guys. Talk to you soon.